And hello everyone, it is I, your favorite tyrannical ruler, Lord Freezer, back with another exciting episode of Final Form Thoughts. Now, today's episode and discussion will be dealt to you by the voice of Lord Freezer himself. Now, this is the first real voice video all the way through in the video. And if you're really shocked right now because you haven't heard my real voice yet, then boom, that video right there on the screen, my 50k subscriber special part two, where I did the Dragon Ball Z voice impressions challenge and I revealed my real voice in it in the video. So click this link right now that's on the screen if you're on a PC or Mac, whatever, just click the annotation, the little picture, and go watch that and then come back. And if you're on a mobile platform, whether it's tablet or smartphone, the link's in the description. Now, back to the video. Now, this video is going to entail a couple of things. One, my YouTube success story, how I got started to where I'm at right now. And two, my thoughts on character channels. Um, it's a new style of YouTube channels. I guess I kind of pioneered it in a way. I, like I've said this in the past before, and I'll say it again. I don't know if I'm technically the first, but I think I am. At least I'm the first to kind of successfully do it. So I'm going to give my opinion on character channels as a whole as well. But for my YouTube success story, um, basically about a year back, I, I'm, a, I'm a voice actor for a living. That's what I do. I do it here and I do commercials, video game work, etc, etc. Now, about a year back, I was on a website called Casting Call Club, and I thought it'd be fun to do some fun little parody auditions on there as different Dragon Ball Z characters. And Frieza took off overnight. He literally exploded. A lot of people were talking about him. So, I, you know, a couple months later, I said, you know, it'd be kind of fun to do, you know, a YouTube channel as Lord Frieza, just a couple of gameplays and see what happens. Well... I do a Dragon Ball Xenoverse gameplay, and I'm thinking, you know, what would be more fun than watching the Emperor of the Universe play a Dragon Ball Z game? So, I think I'd have a blast doing it, because I love to improv act. It's very fun. Improv acting! I love to do that kind of stuff. So, I did it, and about maybe, oh gosh, a few months later of doing that on there, uploading my Casting Call Club trolls, which there's a playlist if you don't know what they are. They're little troll auditions. Very fun. Nobody gets hurt. In the description of my profile on there, it says, this is a parody account. Please don't take anything I say offensively or seriously. This is all in good fun. It's a joke. Everybody was a good sport. They all knew it. It was fun. And, uh, you know, I, I got discovered by Geekdom 101, and Geekdom 101 became a very fast friend. He brought me into a Skype call. He wanted me to do a 50k interview with Lord Frieza for his 50k subscriber special. Which, I'm at 50k right now, so it's kind of ironic how things... He even said it, I said, you know, dude, it's about a year later, I'm where you're at. I, or I'm where you were on YouTube a year ago, and he said, it's kind of funny, because I'm almost where Dino was a year after I met him. And he said, isn't it funny how things go full circle like that? And he's right, it is kind of funny that way. But... It was very interesting because I had never done a collaborative effort with any large YouTube channels in the past before ever. I was just a voice actor who tried something new and got lucky and it took off and it was a new style of content creation. And he was very professional. He brought me into a Skype call. He got to know me for an hour before we even discussed what we were going to do. And that's something that I carry on into my collaborative efforts with other channels nowadays too. I get to know them before. I don't just jump in a Skype call with someone and work with them right away. I get into a Skype call, talk to them a bit, see how we're going to mesh, kind of learn how to play off each other. Just basically... Have a discussion. Just talk. Become friends. It makes collaborations much more fun and more fruitful for everyone, for both parties. And uh, we had a lot of time that we just sat there and just, we, had a, we had a good time sitting there getting to know each other. By the way, guys, this is not scripted. This is all right off the top of my head. I didn't script any of this. This is just genuinely me just talking to you behind the mic, me to you. And we had a lot of fun. So we record the 50K subscriber special. The next day I wake up, I have over a thousand subscribers. Another day goes by, I have over a thousand subscribers. So the beginning of my YouTube success story starts right there. I got discovered by Geekdom 101. Now, I'm not going to go into the fine details of how he discovered me and stuff. I'm just going to leave it basic like that. All right. He discovered me. He wanted to work with me. And I got to work with him and made a very good friend out of it. Next thing you know, I get to become close friends with Quaman. I get to work with Quaman as well, another very good close friend, which honestly, I could not be happier and more thankful for some of these friends that I've made in this community. I love every one of them so dearly. I got to meet Amber. I got to meet from Amber's Playhouse. I got to meet Miss DBZ Babe, Maria Miss DBZ Babe. I freaking love her and Amber so much. I got to become buddies with Black and Fist, great guy, overall cool dude. I got to meet Super Jane, very, very, very knowledgeable, knowledgeable Dragon Ball fan. Um, I, got, I even got to work with Rhyme Style, Dino. Super chill, very, very helpful, friendly guy. Really, just genuinely nice guy. Like, really nice guy. Anytime I had a question, I'd shoot it to him like that. 
boom, right away, just send me an answer back, with the, even within the day, usually within a couple of hours, he hits me back. I've asked him to get on Skype calls and give me advice, and he's helped me out. Now, that's where I'm going to pass some of this advice on to you guys, because I get asked all the time, Lord Frieza, how do you get your channel to be successful? How do I get to 50,000 subscribers? Well, I'm going to tell you guys what I did, and hopefully it can help you too. Now, the first thing that I was taught by all of these people that I've mentioned is consistency. The first thing you have to do all the time, always, is make sure you have at least one video you're uploading to your channel a week. Because how YouTube's algorithm works is if you don't upload for a week, you get dropped down on the search results. So if you type in Dragon Ball Xenoverse Let's Play, there's a good chance you're probably going to see me within the first couple of pages. If I didn't upload for one week, I get further back in that page list. So let's say I was on page one and I don't upload for a week. I'm probably going to get dropped back to page two or three. Hell, I don't know, maybe even four or five. It's I've never, I've never tested this theory and I don't want to actually. I always have videos recorded weeks in advance. I always do. If I sit down and record for an episode, I typically record more than one. When I record Xenoverse, I record a minimum of two episodes, usually somewhere between three to four, so that I'm good for a couple of weeks. Mario Kart 8, same way. I record two or three. Usually two. Sometimes, actually, good oftentimes. Uh, sometimes I do about three, sometimes four. One time I recorded like five or six in one session. Oh, that was a very taxing recording session but it's still paying off to this day because I still have the next Monday ready to go. And I'll probably record uh, uh, two or three more pretty soon. And a lot, another question I get, uh, people ask me all the time is, how do you work with big YouTubers and stuff? Well, like I said, I got discovered by Geekdom and got lucky and made friends with them. And I'm not a dick or an asshole or anything. We get along. We're friends before colleagues, before business partners. We're friends first, business partners second. You know, I don't think Geekdom would work with me if he wasn't my friend. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason that I can shoot Geekdom on IM on Skype and say, hey man, I'm getting ready to start doing some, some different type of video style videos and I wanted to bring you on in the first episode as a guest. Kind of pay homage to how I got started and have you be my first guest there. Would you be interested? And he's, absolutely, he's like, absolutely, man, sure. You know, there's a reason why I can work with people like that. Now, to move on to the next part is collaborative efforts don't have to be just with big YouTube channels. Guys, something very smart that Geekdom told me that I will pass on to all of you right now. Yes, you're not going to have connections to big YouTube channels right away just like that. I am just, I, guys, I'm lucky. I just, I can't say this stuff, I can't say this enough, I'm lucky. I got discovered by a big YouTuber and it led to me working with other ones. It doesn't always happen that way and I'm very grateful and very blessed to have this opportunity that's been laid out in front of me. And that's why I capitalized on it and keep doing what I do. Because I'm having the time of my life, I'm having a blast making this content for you. And it's literally a blessing to be able to voice act and, and just do what I love. And, and, you know, create the content that I enjoy. I'm doing what I love. I'm voice acting, I'm getting paid to do it. And, and I'm also still doing my voice acting on the side for commercials and video games and stuff. So it's a very fun time. Yes, I'm enjoying my job. It's great. But... Not everybody gets to collaborate with large channels right away just like that. You should collaborate with anyone. If you know that you're in a community for fighting games and you're a big Street Fighter YouTuber, I'm just using a game for an example here, right? Just follow me. Um, find other Street Fighter channels. Reach out. Get to know them. Talk to them on Twitter. Don't just be like, hey, we should totally do a video. Reach out. Be like, hey, man, who's your favorite? You know, who do, who do you main? You know what I mean? Just spark up a conversation. Get to know someone. And if a collaboration is going to happen, it's going to happen. Now, yeah, eventually you got to ask, hey, would you be interested in doing, in doing a video together sometimes? And they're going to say yes or no. But uh, don't be one of those people that just tweet someone, can I get a shout out? Can you do a video with me? Because look, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. If you do that, you're a complete stranger. We're not going to drop the time out of our busy schedules and days to go, you know what? I need to do a video with uh, XX Vegeta fan 24 over here because he asked me to. No, man, I've got things on my table right now. I've got to record Let's Plays for the next week or two, and then I've got to do auditions for an agency in Chicago and auditions for an agency over in L.A. and auditions for an agency over in the United Kingdom for commercials and stuff. And then when I'm done doing that, i got to make sure I get my eight hours of sleep so I can wake up the next day and do it all again. And I have my family and friends that I want to spend time with. You see what I'm saying? I'm a busy person, as are all these YouTubers. So make sure you're doing collaborations with people that you know. Get to know them. It'll show in your work and it'll, you'll see that you both enjoy it a lot more and, and the people watching will too. Now, the next thing that I want to get to is we've covered how, to get, how I got started on YouTube. We've covered how to properly collaborate with other channels. The next thing, uh, we've also covered consistency in the upload schedule. Make sure you upload at least once a week. And the next thing we're going to cover is stocking up. If you don't have time to record that often and you're recording, record more than one episode of something. Why record just one? Record two. If you're doing one video a week when your channel's a little smaller, now you got two videos a week. Or excuse me, two. now you got two weeks worth of videos. Sorry, sorry. So there you go. That's that problem solved. Now you can relax, and before the two weeks are up, record another two. So you got another two weeks. Now as your channel grows, so does that number. Because you're not going to be just doing one video a week. Eventually your channel's going to grow to two videos a week, to three videos a week. 
to four videos a week. That's where I'm at right now. I'm at four. I'm not trying to go for five, guys. Expect four to stay that number. That's the sweet spot. Some weeks you will get more than four. But not always. Uh, the next thing that I want to get to is um, the different styles of content that you do. So I am mainly a gameplay channel. But there's a lot of other character channels that do an, rely a lot on reaction videos. And it's not just one. A lot of them do. Um, I don't really... I enjoy doing reaction videos. They're very easy to do. Reaction videos are incredibly easy to do. So it's a good way to get started out. Um, do I think that they're nece a necessity for a successful channel? No. I have gotten to 50,000 subscribers on less than 10 collaborations with other channels, on less than 10 reaction videos, and with zero fucking clickbait. Zero. I can't fucking stand clickbaiters. I've had friends that clickbait in this community, and I've approached them and told them to stop. And they have. And I'm very glad they did. Because I don't want to be associated with it, and neither does any of the people that I work with. No clickbaiting. I actually got... I know, fun fact. Uh, let me just stray off topic here for one second here. Okay, one second's passed. You know what I mean, guys. I'm speaking figuratively. I got accused of clickbaiting once. This video right here. Boom, right there. I got accused of clickbaiting for that. Did they watch the fucking video? Because the Android 18K special, which, yes, I'm a genius for that. <laughs> My buddy Prince Vegeta actually brought it to me, and he said, hey, we should play this game for one of your specials. And I went, oh, and we can call it the Android 18K special. So actually, I owe the whole entire concept of the video to Vegeta, so thank you, Vegeta. But I called it the Android 18K, the Android 18K special, and he fucking lost his mind in Skype. You should hear this man's laugh. His laugh is one of the most hilarious, genuinely heartfelt, happy laughs you've ever felt in your life. I can't express how excited he gets when he laughs hardcore. It's real. He's, ah, ha, 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 like, really hardcore. I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. It's that serious. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's almost, like, outrageous. But uh, it's, it's, it's fucking funny. You gotta hear for yourself sometimes. But, uh, yeah. And someone commented, this is clickbait. This is fucking clickbait. You're a clickbaiter. I've had like multiple times this happened and I just reply, did you watch the video? No, no, no reply ever. Never, never a reply back. No, I never, not one reply back ever. Because on the, on the title, as you can see right now, Android 18's big sexy butt, that big fat ass is right there for you to look at. Come on, we all like 18's butt. Don't lie to yourself. And yeah. It was, it was there, and, and then they stopped doing that. So, yeah, no, I don't like clickbaiting. Now, the next part that I want to get to with the character channel side of things, because I don't want to keep this video too long. I'm going to try to wrap this up pretty soon here. I've been rambling for a while. It's not scripted. This is all off the top, and I'm rambling. Let's try to get through this, all right, guys? And thank you if you've stayed this long. I appreciate that. Character channels as a whole. I think it's a cool new style of YouTubing, and I'm happy that I could be a part of helping pioneer it and create it. I'm very grateful for every opportunity that I've had, and a lot of the really cool people that I've got to meet and the opportunities placed in front of me from it. And, and I just want to voice my opinion on a couple of things with it. One, I think, uh, I, think, I think the character channels are relying too heavily on reaction videos. I think you guys should cut back. I'm not saying do what I do. I'm just saying I got the 50K with less than 10 of them. I think somewhere, I think around five maybe. Maybe a little more, I don't know. Less than 10 though. And uh, I, guys, I don't know if reacting is going to stay popular. I don't know if it's just a phase. I don't know. But I think you should focus more on doing content you like. Now, if, if reaction is what you like, go for it. But at least in my, in my instance here, in my situation, I do gameplay videos and I do reaction videos here and there. I do casting call club trolls here and there. Um, I do discussion videos here and there. This is my third Final Form Thoughts. My third. I started this series a few months back. This is my third. I think character channels, pretty much, well, honestly, to be fair, guys, do whatever the hell you want. It's your channel. Do what you want. I'm just saying, don't rely too much on one style of content. Uh, another thing that I recommend for all character channels, don't just play Dragon Ball Z games. Because if you just do Dragon Ball Z content, your only viewers are going to be Dragon Ball Z fans. Now, people are going to go, but Lord Frieza, you're a Dragon Ball Z character channel. Well, I don't know. What about it? Because if you look at my channel, 80% of my content is not Dragon Ball Z related. And I do very well view-wise, don't I? Well, for two reasons. One, I'm an entertainer, and I enjoy entertaining. I think I'm a funny guy. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, I'm just saying. I don't think I would have got where I am if I wasn't an entertaining person, right? And two, I don't just do Dragon Ball Z content, because if I only did Dragon Ball Z content, every time I uploaded a video that wasn't Dragon Ball Z related, it wouldn't get any views. But do yourself a favor, go to my channel and look at all my other videos. They all get decent views. Now, yes, I would say my Dragon Ball Z gameplays do kind of take the uh, the lead on the most view count, 
but that's to be expected because Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is a hot game right now. But look at all my Mario Kart Mondays. They typically do around 10,000 views. Um, my Resident Evil Let's Plays with Vegeta's, those are all doing over 10k each, but then again, that's me and Vegeta, two character channels, Dragon Ball Z characters playing a game together. We always do well and we do videos together. But look at my Five Nights at Freddy's or my Slender. They all do around 10k views as well. So... If, if I upload a video that's not Dragon Ball Z related and it hits anywhere between eight to 10,000 views, I consider that a success. And for the most part, that happens really frequently. My advice to all the character channels out there, don't just do Dragon Ball Z stuff, branch out. Don't rely heavily on reactions. It could be a phase. And create content that you like and that you love. And sometimes, sometimes you'll do a video and it won't do well and don't get disheartened by it because hey, I've had flops too. I enjoyed the hell out of my Gears of War 1 playthrough. Did it do well view-wise? Hell no! Did I finish it? Hell yes, because I love it. But always make sure that you're doing what you like, and at some point when you start to make money off of YouTube and it does kind of become your day job, you will need to understand that sometimes you might need to cancel a series because it doesn't do too well. But that might be something that you just tried and you don't really care for that much, but if it's a game that you love and you enjoy, don't cancel it. Keep playing it. You're just going to have to have another series that's doing a little bit better to pay the bills. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been a fun discussion video with you. I'm very, very happy that I'm able to have an audience to speak to, speak my mind. Uh, this video has went on way longer than I wanted it to. The points are in here. If you stood, if you sat through it, or if you stood through it, whatever. If you sat through it and watched the whole entire thing, thank you very much. And no, we don't just do this for the money. We do it for the love. Because if it was for the money, guys, I make pretty decent money off commercials. So, there you go. But, I just want to thank you all for sitting here and watching this. And thank you for supporting me. And thank you for being a fan. And I, if you look, I'm always active in the comments. I'm always active on Twitter. Um, I, I stream on Twitch in this voice right here a lot. So, there's a link in the description. Follow me there. And thank you to everyone who's helped me get where I am today. And in the future, I will be doing more of these, probably. Uh, Frieza Voice and, and uh, the voice of Frieza Voice, this guy right here. Um, now, real quick, pull, top right corner, boom, right there. I have not seen Dragon Ball Super episodes 1 through 27. I've only seen Battle of Gods the movie and Resurrection F, and I've watched from 28 on from the Champa arc, Universal 6 arc on to right now. I still need to catch up on episodes 67 and 68, but that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to watch episodes 1, th 1 through 27, and that pull that you see right there is asking you if you wanted me to do reviews on those. I've never done a review on anything before in my life, but it would just be a couple minute long discussion, probably a few little still shots here and there, and me just talking about what I liked in the episode. So let me know, yes or no, what you think of that right there in that pool in that top corner. Please let me know. I'm curious what you guys think, yes or no. If it's a big vote of no, I won't do it. If it's an overflowing vote of yes, I'm going to do it, all right? See you guys in my next video. Ha 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 ha! K-bye!